Hello students, today we are going to be doing one and two step equations on our F worksheet. Number one is negative 38V equals 1786. So I'm going to look right here where my variable is and I'm going to say what's happening. Negative 38 times V. Some of you will be tempted to go plus 38. That would be incorrect. We're going to draw our line down there and we say what operation is going on? multiplication. So we do the inverse, which is division. So I'm going to divide this by negative 38. Okay, I get my handy dandy calculator and I put 1786 in there and I divide it by 38 and then I make sure I put the plus minus right there. So I get negative 38, and then I push the equal sign. And it gives me a beautiful whole number there, negative 47. So then I write V equals negative 47. And I'm done. Okay. All right, number two is a little bit of a trickster. It has V minus a negative. Whenever you see a parenthesis and a minus and a negative, and it's just one number with no variable in there, we can automatically go, we can pretend that's a plus sign. So we just force it into a plus sign like that. There's my line down the equal sign. Now it's V plus 81 equals 34. And then we want to do the inverse operation, subtract 81. That goes away. And then we say V equals... 34 minus 81. So we're going to put use our handy dandy calculator. 34 minus 81. Negative 47. Okay. Next we're going to go on to number 3. We see our parentheses, so we're going to be doing our distributive property. 10 times negative 19 is negative 190. 10 times r plus 10r equals negative 100. Okay. Here's our variable right here. We see it's multiplied, and there's also something added to it on this side, so, or, which is a negative 90. So we're going to add 190 here. Ten r equals ninety. Divide by ten. R equals nine. Okay. Now we come over here. We see that there's the variable. It's added with a number and it's divided by something. If it's combined with a number on top, we have to multiply first. So to get rid of the five. And again, we get we multiply by 5, not 7. We don't really care what's over there right now. We focus on just the side that has the variable. That cancels out, and we're just left with the numerator, or the top number. x plus 19 equals 7 times 5, 35. Then that's plus, so we're going to go minus 19. Then if we want to use our handy dandy calculator, 35 minus 19, 16. Okay. Next, we're going to go ahead and go on to the back side. We're going to compare and contrast 9 and 13. So we'll be doing them both at the same time. First thing we want to do is put a line down the equal sign. Now, notice on this one, here's the variable right here. It's only divided by a number. There is nothing added or subtracted to it on top. This one, we have a plus 11 on top and a divide by 5. Here, 
we are going to try and single that out. So we get rid of this by adding first. So we add 10 to both sides. We bring this down. Negative 15 plus 10. Battle or party. Correct. It's a battle. So we subtract and the negatives win the battle. Over here, right here, we're not going to subtract first to get rid of the 11. We have to get rid of the 5 on the bottom first. So we multiply by 5 on both sides first. That cancels. You have n plus 11 equals 3 times 5, 15. Okay, going back to this one here, we have v divided by 3, so we're going to multiply by 3 on both sides. Always circle your end answer so whoever's correcting your paper can find your answer. Opposite of add 11, 15 minus 11. And there you have it. Okay. This one is very similar to 13, so I'm going to let you do that on your own. You can do this, students. You rock.